Welcome to iLecture Online and here's some more examples of how to take the derivative of some functions using the quotient rule. And the way the quotient rule works is that you have one function divided by another function and you want to take the derivative of that. And the answer then will become the denominator g of x times the derivative of the numerator f prime of x minus the numerator f times the derivative of the denominator all divided over the denominator squared. And I remember when I took calculus the first time, that was a heck of a thing to remember. And the way I did it was just through rogue memory, saying it over and over and over again. My teacher would always repeat that sentence, the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. And after you hear that about 30 or 40 times, it begins to sink in. Now, it turns out my wife had a teacher in high school who tried to come up with some nice little phrase to make that easier to remember. And so, if we represent the f of x, the function in the numerator by hi, and the function in the denominator by ho, and you want to then take the derivative of that, the derivative then would be ho d hi minus hi d ho over ho ho. Sounds kind of quirky, but it actually works. So ho d hi minus hi d ho over ho ho. Ho ho meaning the, de the denominator squared or the uh, function denominator squared. All right, so let's apply that neat little trick to our equations here. So imagine this to be the numerator in the, uh, the function in the numerator and the function in the denominator. So if we want to take the derivative, y prime, we take the denominator, ho, 4x squared minus 3x times the derivative of the of the numerator or d high, the derivative of 3x is simply 3, minus the numerator 3x times the derivative of the denominator, which is 8x minus 3. Remember, it's 2 times 4, which is 8 times x to the first power. We subtract from the uh, one from the, from the exponent, and then if we take the derivative of 3x, the x simply drops out, we get minus 3, and then we take the whole thing and divide it by the denominator squared, 4x squared minus 3x. <clears throat> and then we have to square that, don't forget to square. All right, now typically what we'd like to do in this case is we want to multiply these out and collect common terms. So just to show you how that normally works, we then say y prime is equal to we multiply this through, so we get 12x to the second power minus 9x, and that would be minus 3x times 8x, which is 24x squared, and minus 3x times minus 3 is a plus 9x, all divided by 4x squared minus 3x, all squared, and then collecting common terms, so we have a 12x squared and minus 24x squared, so y prime is equal to minus 12x squared, we have a minus x, plus a 9x, they cancel out, like so, and then we divide the whole thing by 4x squared minus 3x, quantity squared, and that would then be the derivative of the two functions there that are divided by each other. Now, I feel that if you get to this stage right here, you basically have taken the uh, derivative of the, uh, of the quotient of functions, uh, but if you want to keep going and get the final simplified answer, then you must multiply that out and do that. All right, here's our second example. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, again, we have a quotient. So y prime is equal to, if you look at this, ho, that means the function in the denominator. So we write 3x to the fourth power minus 5 d high. D means the derivative of what's high, which is the numerator, so that would be 2x to the first power minus 1 minus high, that's the function in the numerator, that would be x squared minus x times d ho, d meaning the derivative of what's in the denominator, so that would be derivative of 3x to the fourth power, so that would be 12x cubed, remember you multiply this times this, you get 12, subtract from the exponent, and then the derivative of a constant is simply zero, so that drops out. And then we divide the whole thing by ho-ho, the denominator squared. So we put a big line down and we take 3x to the fourth minus 5 quantity squared. And again, if you want to simplify that, you want to multiply everything out, collect common terms, uh, we'll just leave it at that. 
that's just an exercise in algebra. At least you know how to find the derivative of a quotient using the quotient rule. All right, now we're going to show you something that's a little bit more complicated. Still the quotient rule, but something that involves a little bit more mm. effort, I would say. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. Mm.